In this Surf Stories episode, we'll be chatting with Julian Suma on his take about surf photography and his gear. I'm Julian Suma, and I am a surfer and uh, I guess it's a surf photographer. Uh, it's something I really enjoy. Uh, number one advice for someone who's interested in getting into surf photography would be don't worry about the gear so much. Obviously you need something to keep your camera, whatever your camera is, waterproof. There's a lot of different options out there. Biggest thing, wake up early, go out pretty much as much as you can. Like this morning I just went out and the waves were terrible, but the lighting was kind of cool and it was cold, but it's still worth it. You learn something every time. Just get a camera, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the newest one. I shoot with a kind of old camera now, 60, um, the original one. And it's still, I still have a great time every time I go out. So just get out a lot and shoot as much as possible. What makes me different? I think what really inspires me to like continue to pursue photography and not feel like I'm just copying other people's images um, is honestly like who I'm shooting or where I'm shooting. Generally it's uh, close friends of mine or locations that I am like have a personal attachment to. Um, I haven't honestly done a lot of just travel surf photography. It's usually been where I've been living and surfing. So it has a little bit more of a personal attachment. But I also, like, I do get a ton of inspiration from social media, surf magazines. Um, I get a lot of ideas that's, that's honestly kind of tweak um, to make more personal for what you want to do. Um, but it is also fun to try to recreate images that you've seen. Um, yeah, figuring out what techniques they use, like what I don't know, technical settings they had and then what conditions they were in and how they got into a certain position to line up a shot. Um, so I, I guess it is, I, I do get a lot of inspiration from just seeing what other people are doing. I feel like I focused a lot on getting more like close up surf action shots, which I love and will definitely continue doing that. But I also want to pull it back more to more kind of lifestyle and even honestly get into portraiture um, revolving around surfing or just ocean or sports. Uh, just something personally that I wanna pursue and kind of take that new challenge on. So for kind of spilling beans on locations, it's definitely a delicate subject. On that, I feel way more comfortable sharing my images, especially if they're kind of unique locations to just not put the actual location and people still enjoy the image, but they don't it's not gonna attract unnecessary traffic to a certain location. So I originally, I've been doing photography for oof, a long time, at least I think since I was like 12 or 13. Um, surfing is kind of new to me, it's in, within the last four years. And growing up skateboarding, uh, photographed that a lot, and then getting into uh, college, it, Ultimate Frisbee, photographed that sport a decent amount, and skiing. Uh, once I started surfing, I really kind of got addicted to it, like most people. Um, and I found that I really wanted to start photographing it. I, When I got into uh, surfing, it kind of took over, and I kind of put photography on the wayside, and after a few years, I really realized that I want to get back into it and start integrating both together. There is a uh, dilemma though when the waves are good whether or not I take the camera out or the surfboard. So I've figured out that I'll surf uh, until my arms get tired and then I switch to the camera. Yeah, for lighting and shooting in the mornings and evenings, I that's when I typically find it. It's also when the, uh, the wave conditions are generally the cleanest um, with the winds uh, behaving. For lighting wise, hmm, I think I en enjoy shooting at those hours for the color. They're, the colors are often more pastel, in the, especially in the cold, in the winter months. Uh, shooting into the sun, I guess a lot of photographers, I definitely burn my retinas out a lot, but 
I have found that when you're in the water, uh, you can get a lot of really cool reflections or refractions, I guess they'd be. Yeah. Uh, with just like the, the sunlight coming through the water, it'll like create these weird hexagon shape things. And I found that you can get some really neat images, especially shooting through waves uh, into the camera I'm shooting on today or every day is a Canon 6D. It's definitely not the top of the line, but I found that it does what I need it to do and I'm shooting in an Aquatech housing. Um, I've really found that shooting uh, both, uh, this is a 17 to 40 F4, um, which I really like the wide angle, but also shooting in the water with a telephoto, uh, I use a 70 to 200 28, is definitely my preferred lens. Um, being really able to compress images and then also kind of get some of those more close-up shots in the water. If you enjoyed this interview, be sure to subscribe to the channel for weekly episodes.